This is a demonstration of the hip index, which is a position of the pelvis, which clearly indicates where the lumbar spine is positioned. So with this posture, the neck has got a normal curve. This is the thoracic curve, which follows below it. The lumbar spine curves in the opposite direction. These are the natural strongest curves of the spine. This is where the spine is in its safest and strongest position, shown off by where the pelvis is balanced on the chair and stabilized by the legs. When we lose that support, when the spine begins to collapse, the pelvis begins to fall backwards, and that's shown by the hip index pointing backwards relative to the top of the head. If the head comes forward and the body comes forward, the entire spine is collapsing, and that's shown off by this angle with the vertical aspect of where the, where the pelvis is pointing, like a potted plant or a bucket pouring water out the back, and the entire spine coming forward. This is the worst position we can be in. All of the muscles are completely relaxed, and in this position we start to stretch the ligaments, compress the discs on the front of the spine. If we go back into upright posture, fully sitting up tall, so the pelvis rotates forward, neck and spine, everything comes up tall. We can overcorrect that posture. Think of getting as tall as you can, tall and elegant. That pulls the entire spine up into its tall position. Here, the vertical aspect of the hip index lines up with the torso. That is a neutral spine, strong spine posture. From there, with good core stability, we can move the entire spine forward, bending through the hip so everything comes forward. That's the posture we're trying to get and support with a forward posture. Or we can bring it backwards, bring the entire spine back. That's the spine posture that we support in a reclined position. However, to come forward, we need to keep the spine in neutral to sustain that better posture through the neck and shoulders. That's why when we get the work surface, the visual targets, the reach distances, and the support surfaces for the arm, preserve this neutral spine posture. The indicator is the hip index. Where is the spine in that neutral position?